Good morning, Endeavor. Most of the work with the camera will be done while I can do the Derby Houston for time. While it's in the shade to protect it from bright light. The uh, FAO and pointer folks have verified that we will be protected attitude-wise uh, after sunset here, as long as we stick with the plan. Okay, and we just saw the sun marching up the side of the telescope there between the whip pick and the FTS. Right, well, we have a little balancing act going on, and uh, we're not protected until after sunset. Okay, thanks a lot. Sunset's upcoming for Endeavor in just a little less than three minutes. Again, uh, the... Um, yes, I can get off with the handle bolt, right? Much care is taken to avoid having... The camera's exposed to bright light. I don't think they want us to undo any of it, but I'll check the store. But we got to get the scuff plate first, so we may be in good shape. How long until May? It's only three or four minutes, story. We'll be all right. Grave is setting up his work platform from which uh, he will be restrained for working with the camera. Hoffman 
Ryan's putting in uh, guide studs onto which uh, the handhold, which they'll use to hold the camera when it's removed from the telescope, will be mounted. Hoffman now uh, carrying the handhold up to the whiff pick. Hoffman's now about to release a ground strap, a grounding strap that's located on the outside of the drawer. And the handle's now attached onto the guide studs. That's the handle that'll be used uh, to hold it when Hoffman slides the uh, instrument out of the telescope. The instrument's about the size of a baby grand piano.
Jeff Hoffman on the end of the robot arm with the uh, red bands on the end, on his legs is uh, holding the wide field planetary camera. I'll do that too, but I can't do it until the sun moves. Okay. One of the tasks uh, after removing the camera is to partially reinsert it, and uh, he was noticing that the cavity was uh, very dark because of the sun angle, and he wanted to wait, and that's what he's doing now, and he's practicing some mass handling uh, of the camera to get a good feel for how it uh, moves about in the weightless environment. Story Musgrave, is uh, uh, his suit has no stripes on it, no markings, and he's up on the telescope as a free floater during this task.
just roll right now. And that's why if you, if you come on around with that roll joint, pitch will become pitch for you.
Here's your left shoulder store. Okay. I'll go to the outside. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Let, let me stabilize it. Okay. Okay. How far are we from the, uh, from the rail? About six inches. Let me put my light on it. Stop the arm. Stop the arm. Stopping down. With the camera now installed, uh, Claude Nicolier will reposition Jeff Hoffman so that he can now uh, completely latch the new instrument into the telescope. news we had a good aliveness test on with pick two Every Houston, Tom, that's a different circuit, so it should not affect it. Uh, would you verify that uh, your light signature was uh, not affected by sunlight? Yes, uh, Story and Jeff both looked at it. You're pretty positive, Story. They're not on, right? Best I can tell. I wrap my hand around it to shade it from sunlight. I still don't think it's on. Yeah, we've, we've seen them uh, in in daylight in the clean room, and it's no lighter out there right now than was in the clean room. Okay, Tom, we understand, and uh, be advised we are getting indications on the ground. Okay, copy.
go back to port. There we go. Where we go? One foot to port. One to port. Placement magnetometers each have uh, four turn knobs to lock them in place over the top of the existing magnetometers. that if you can only mate three of the four knobs, that's okay. Copy story. Okay. Yeah, get this uh, 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 but you guys on the ground, we're looking at P16247 picture, and the uh, be the upper left uh, clamp where it goes on, you can see that small wire uh, left in MLI that comes uh, out from under the old MLI that was on the electronics unit and comes just across the where the clamp goes on there at the upper top. Okay, we copy, Tom. We'll dig out the photo. Jeff on the flight deck. That's right, I'm not in automatic box anymore. Uh, here they are. Um, I don't know, can you zoom in on them, Claude? Or, or should I hold them closer? Okay, let's move them closer a little bit. Can you focus? Get, get, the, get the light on it. We have a very good picture, Jeff. Okay, well, people who know the known magnetometers will certainly recognize them. Uh, the one that says ZY was the one that was on top, 
that's the first one that I noticed was actually uh, peeled up a little bit. Okay, Jeff, we see that. Okay, Claude, thanks. And uh, just a little feedback for you from the WIFPIC folks. They really uh, liked what they saw on that video, and the camera is doing very well so far. Okay, thanks. That's good to you. And if you have any more still pictures to send down, you can reconfigure for that at your convenience. Okay, Sox. If there's anything that specific you'd like, let us know. We will do that.